Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome to the first uh, stage editor Prosec Manager uh, guide. My name is Danilo and I'm a former Prosec Manager developer. Sorry if you see me a bit strange, a bit unusual, but I'm not so used to this type of things. It's the first time that I record a video that I speak uh, in a camera in English also. It's the only time that I don't speak English, so I say sorry in advance for many mistakes that I'm going to, to do to say and for the many pronunciation I'm going to tell you in a very bad way. Since uh, this is the second time that I record this video, I hope that it's going to go well. But so let's start. Why I create this uh, guide? I create this guide with the purpose to show to all the fans that love to play Project Manager to how to create a stage with a stage editor. A stage editor is a little application. It is already included with the game. You can uh, download it from the Steam uh, accessories, I think. So. so when you download the game with from Steam, you can also download the stage editor that is a stage that is a program to create stage to play with inside the game. I'm going to organize this guide in different episodes. In each episode that I hope that it is not going to last uh, more than uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm going to show you uh, each steps to do from the beginning, to, from the GPX file to, I already say you this, I don't know, I, I repeated so many times this video that I so I'm going to forget what I already say in this video and what I really said in the, in the other video that I didn't uh, did the public. So, what you are going to see now in front of you? You are going to see, you see a map. This is the map of a uh, website that I recommend to create a GPX file. GPX, uh, what is, uh, is a file with inside the root that you're going to, to do or you already done. Because, for example, if you read with Strava, you can uh, download uh, with your little uh, computer, with a little by computer. It's not an entire move. It's just to say a little because it's the little the computer that you have inside the bike. Uh, you can uh, write your, your, your road, uh, and then when you finish, uh, you can take your uh, Garmin, for example, and extract the GPX file of the, uh, of the road that you've done. But here, we are going to create from zero GPX file. So what you need to create a GPX file from zero, a website like this, that is called Ride with GPX, or GPS, GPS, sorry, Ride with GPS. With Red with GPS, you have to log in, you have to register, and once that you are registered, you will see the root planner, this wonderful display that is now in Italian because I'm in, I am in Ita Ita Italian. I'm, I'm Italian, yes, you can understand, you already understood from my presentation. I'm Italian, so is based in Italy, now the map. And we are going to create an Italian stage. Uh, so, uh, what I was going to say, ah, yes, that with this program, you can track your route. It's in Italian, but you can understand easily also the functions in your language. I wanted to start with a stage. We're going to, to create a very small stage because it's just to learn, just to, to begin. That is localized in Piedmont, Piedmont in Francais, in English, I don't know. Why? Because I love Piemonte, it's a countryside area with a very nice little town that we can create easily with the stage editor, but with also some small interesting climbs that we can also learn to create. And also I so decided to start in this city, Bois, that is famous for the cheese, but uh, I think almost half of the Italian cities are, are famous for cheese or food that is famous for the cheese and start to this small city to track our stage so let's start from uh, oh I, I, I didn't want to do this I want to do the opposite so from Bra we can go to Barolo this area seems uh, sounds familiar maybe to some, some somebody of you because in this area that is very famous for the vine there already have been some uh, Giro stage like a time trial from Barbaresco, that is uh, Barbaresco is something here, I don't remember where, to Barolo in 2014, yes, 2014, of 13, if somebody knows better, can encourage me. 
So we're going to go from Bra, we go to Kalamora, that is a mountain full of graves. We go down and we are in the city, the city, the village of Barol. It's a very small village, very nice. So we see the map with our route and we see the profile down. We create it, we save, we call with the name, we pitch, we can call pitch on stage. We save, visualize, and export download the GPX file. Now we can use the GPX to create also the road with the stage editor, but it's not completed because what I want to do now is something that maybe somebody of you that already know something about the stage editor don't usually do. This is, it is create another GPX file with not just uh, the road of the stage we want to do, but also with all the roads of the area. Because when we are going to create the stage, we don't want to do just one road. We want to also create all the roads that are inside that cross our stage to make also the, all the stage more realistic. Because the, the cyclist, in the reality, there is not one, one road, there are multiple roads. So we are going to track all these it seems a bit confused a bit strange a bit uh, particular we go everywhere everywhere that is near or close to the stage we want it we go here that doesn't matter the direction doesn't matter the profile just to have like a sort of gpx of map because we don't really have a map in the stage editor we go we, we must do the stage just only with the gpx file not knowing also where there are going to be the other roads but in this way we can have also a more clear understanding of the position of our road so where we are where was Barolo? Barolo was uh, here. Okay, we can also do this, and I think that this enough. Yes, we can create it. Okay, now we have this beautiful uh, trio. We can also save this. We save with a different name. Okay. Okay, now that we saved both the GPX, we can <coughs> open the stage editor. Let me go back here. And we can start creating a new stage. We click on File, New, and here we are. In the stage name, we put the name of our stage. It was Vera Barolo. I am recording. Yes, no, if I forget recording is, is not good. We select the region that is Piedmont in Francais. Then we must select two things, the region and city. This is not a stupid thing to set because from this value depends how the landscape of the stage and the texture that are uh, I can say assign it to each landscape. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten type of uh, region. And for each region, there is a different landscape texture. So it's desert for the desert with uh, green uh, uh, field, green grass sorry, for grass for the center, a bit of yellow grass for the south, a different type of rock for Corsica with movement to have a different top of the mountain to have a real movement to texture. And also we've got different um, type of fields and trees. This doesn't mean that uh, there is one type of trees for each type of uh, region there are different type of trees and some are in common with some region but for example if i want to insert a palm i must uh, select a south or a desert 
landscape but uh, surely not in ground or center or alps because there are no, no palms in alps and also if i want to create a field of flowers like in the netherland i must show its netherland uh, landscape or at least in ground but you can't find fields with flower in desert or salt or arid. In this case, uh, we're going to create a stage in, uh, as I was saying, uh, Lange. It is a particular region of uh, Piemonte full of grapes uh, where uh, the people create wine. So I prefer to select a type of south region because Italy is Mediterranean. Uh, is a Mediterranean country, so we can use different type of uh, region depending from the area. In this case, I prefer south. For the city kit, is not so important. So to to explain this, I must uh, tell you a option of uh, a feature of the stage editor that now is passed, but is still present in the stage editor. That is the possibility. There is a button. It is here on the left, it is this, to create a full automatic city. This is very ugly compared to the new object of the stage editor. So I absolutely not suggest to use this option. Also in CNN team, we don't use anymore this option. You can still find in various stages. And uh, now if you want to create a new stage, don't use this option, this feature. So, so also the city kit that depends from that option. It's not so more important because if you don't use automatic city, you don't need more the city kit. But we put to, to to create something that is correct. So Mediterranean because Italy is a Mediterranean country. Then create from elevation data. In this case, the uh, stage editor take the terrain profile of the stage uh, of the of the GPX. We, this is what we're going to select. And then the GPX. We can put the coordinates. Is this the, the name in Italy? Is coordinate? Oh, I hope. But well, longitude, latitude, these are coordinates. We can insert this manually, and this is something that I don't suggest because it's in, quite impossible. You should must insert uh, the longitude, latitude of the depart or town, and then the arrival, and then do some attempts to find a good equilibrium. So the good thing is to directly charge the GPX that is not here, but is here. And to charge not the GPX of the stage, but the second GPX that we created, the one with many roads, with all the roads of the area that we want to create, is this. So here we are, and uh, oh, some moments, and here are the magic. In front of you, we have uh, the terrain map of the area we are going to create. How to navigate with the stage editor is very simple with uh, these uh, buttons tac, tac, right, left, up, and down. We move the direction of the map or the uh, mouse. We can use the middle button to zoom, to zoom in, to zoom out, or to keep a point and round, you know, the map. Tuck. We have three different uh, visualization of the stage. That is the first 3D. The second is the top view. It is very similar to the one that we have here is the terrain map and then the profile view that is about the uh, stage that we are going to create for the moment there is no stage no road no spline so we are not going to see anything interesting here this is not uh, something is a drill come back to the 3d Actually, the top view. And here we load the GPX. So, as I said, is the GPX of all the road. Here we are. We can set the alpha, we can set down to see better on the terrain. And now we must start to track all the roads that we see in the GPX. 
but I think that we are going to start in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, step by step, I'm going to be more confident with you. I hope to say the things clearer. And uh, let's go for the next episode. We start to track our road. Bye bye, people. Have a nice day.